Subcommand Cup. And it's Step Between Stars. Delamaster, we have discovered a station near the centre of the Solani Dyson Sphere that controls the station's ability to jump to other areas of space, utilising vast amounts of omega particles that it generates as fuel. This could be disastrous for the Delta Quadrant. If the reaction is not perfect, vast areas of subspace would be damaged, rendering space travel to that region almost impossible. Our intel indicates that the VOT intend to take control of the station and jump the sphere back to their space. We cannot allow this to happen. Point to Joint Command. We need your help to stop this. Right, so, begin. It'll get there. It'll get there soon. Never seen Joint Command so active, sir. These are preparations for a mighty battle. The rest of the senior staff has been briefed in another area. Our orders are to meet with the Chief Logistics Officer. Understood. I, uh, find, I'll find the Chief Logistics Officer. Probably this woman over here. You're just in time. Please follow me to Subcommander Cole. Understand. I'll go to Subcommander Cole. Good to see you again. We now know why the sphere generates vast amounts of Omega particles. It is designed to use those particles as fuel to jump to any area of space. There is a space station that controls the jumps in close orbit of the sphere's star. Go on. Admiral Tuvok from Starfleet was selected to lead a small team to the station to try to disable it. With him is Dr. Eric Cooper, a scientist who has been studying Dyson and Iconian technology. Something's gone wrong. Two hours ago, we received a distress signal from Tuvok. Please use the console to download the signal. Afterward, I'd like to hear your opinion of the situation. Understood. Right, so there's the console. Sensors have detected a large off fleet moving toward the station. They have discovered us, and we have yet to complete our work. Communications with our ship are down. Our last contact with them indicated that they were having technical difficulties and may be forced to retreat to a safer location. I will be unable to stop a bomb advance without assistance. Right. The attack on the Voth fleet will commence shortly. Captains, please return to your ships. 
Tuvok and Koopa are stranded with an entire Voth fleet bearing down on them. I need you to fly to the station, rescue our team, and finish the mission. Our fleet will engage the Voth to help keep them distracted. But to avoid detection, you'll need to fly roughly 100 kilometers above the surface of the star. That's hot. What about using a cloaking device instead? The Voth are actively scanning for ships approaching the station. They can detect our cloaked ships, which is another issue we're trying to solve. This is our best option. The star's magnetic field will make it impossible for most sensors to pick up your ship. With luck, your ship will not have to fly close to the star's surface for very long. Very well, I'll fly the turn lower over the sun. What's the plan? Speak with the logistics officer assigned to brief your crew on the situation. With your permission, we can help your engineers set up a temporary modulation for your shield frequencies that should allow your ship to travel that close to the sun safely. Very good, I'll speak with the uh, logistics officer. That's my crew. Greetings. Our engineers are working with your crew now to create a temporary modulation program that will help your shields protect your ship from the heat and radiation you will encounter on your way to the sun station. Your ship should be able to safely make the trip, but it won't be able to remain in orbit of the station. Where should the Duramore go after I'm on the station? We will need every available ship to fight the Voth. It would be best if your ship joined the fleet once you are aboard the station. Your goals on the station are to find Admiral Tuvok, assist him to shut down the sphere's jump capabilities, and then retreat before the Voth fleet arrives. Do you have any questions? If the Turamar is with the fleet, what's our escape plan? Admiral Tuvok traveled to the station in a new starship, specifically designed to withstand the conditions there. The Dyson has reported some technical issues, but they should still be in transporter range. It will be standing by to assist you when you've completed your mission. Understood. I'll return to my ship. Ready to leave when you are, Dela Master. I think I'm going to substitute Commander when that comes up. battle is going on and there's my destroyer low over the surface. Captain, we're approaching the surface of the star. The modifications to our shields are holding off the worst of the effects but they won't keep us safe for long. We're already losing subsystems to the heat and radiation. I can't keep us flying but now I can keep us flying for now with the emergency backups but more systems are going offline by the minute. It's only a matter of time before we lose something critical. Thermal will hold together. Plot a course for the station. Best speed, possible speed. We shall go and collect the magnesite. Any communication to the station commander? Uh, initial scans indicate that no nearby solar flares are interfering with our frequencies. It's possible for the terminal to repair the nearby solar flare inhibitors that should allow us to contact station. Very well, we'll repair the solar flare inhibitors then contact as the buck. Realign. Shields as 
well. Engineer shutting down the shell, holodex to reroute power to shields. Okay. Don't think we need the holodex particularly. Though they make very good labs. Lighting systems went down, emergency lighting is still is online. Right, where's the other one? There's going to be a one around here somewhere. There it is. The other side of a solar flare box so it Understood. I'll be there soon. Okay, Captain, the ship will suffer irreversible damage if we stay here this close to the sun. We can retreat, perform critical repairs, and then rejoin the fleet against the Roth. What are your orders? Support the fleet once I leave. Understood, sir. Crew is prepared uh, for battle against the Roth. Fight in, uh, continue the fight in your absence. Be prepared for transport to the station. And over we go. Greetings, I am Admiral Tuvok. The Wait. man behind the crates is Dr. Eric Cooper, the Federation Science Council's expert on Dyson technology. Uh, yes! H hello, I'm Dr. C Cooper. Allow me to brief you on the situation so we may determine the best plan of action. Main power is offline. I am not sure what caused this disruption, but the event was fortunate. The darkness is a distinct tactical advantage. There are manual overrides in each room. I have temporarily disabled the one between us and the Voth. Unfortunately, the Dyson's captain did not survive the Voth's initial assault. What can you tell me about the station? There are two generator rooms that control much of the station's operations. The generator room to the south controls the power. The control room to the west, where the Voth are, maintains the station's jump capabilities. It is imperative we reach the west control room and disable it before the Voth jump this sphere back to their space. The release of the Omega particles needed for this reaction would be catastrophic. How many Voths are between us and the control room? More than the two of us can safely engage. Defeat would be certain. However, if we restore main power, we can use the station's automated defenses to even the odds, if we can avoid being targeted by them ourselves. I understand you have extensive combat experience. Do you have any suggestions? Kel mentioned you had a ship in orbit. Did they help? I have attempted to hail them, but received no response. The ship's shields and hull plating are designed to withstand the extreme amounts of heat, pressure, and radiation generated by this sphere's star. However, it is a prototype vessel on its first voyage. There were several unexpected system failures. The communications array must be among them. The ship has retreated to a safe location to make repairs. Until they are able to complete them, they will not be able to assist us. And our best option is to make the way to generator room. We're moving away from the Voth, right? Right, what? Sensors are detecting a Voth battle mech ahead. I recommend we perform a more detailed scan to ensure it is deactivated.
Foss was killed by station's automated defences. This off the officer cannot be helped, the wounds were fatal. Scanners indicate no sign of life within the mech. The pilot of this battlesuit may have been killed in the fighting. However, we do not know what else we will find on this station. We must move forward. The trapped Voth will be attempting to circumvent my modifications. What do you suggest? Protect Cooper. He'll need your help. in here can be quite lethal. It was awful! The sounds! The blood! Ugh. Cooper, you are being a pain. I don't remember you as much of a pain last time. a red circle which is over there. That looks right. Uh, blue. That looks right. That did it. The final console is unlocked. Activate. Oh, 
start thinking how we can survive this or none of us is going to get out of here alive. Then I guess we'll all just die. If the Voth don't get us, then the station's defenses will. But if the defenses aren't active here... Wait, I think I know what to do. Just give me a moment. Do it. I think if I try this... Dr. Cooper, we require a solution. I'm working on it! Vulcans! If I can just try that... Yes, I've done I have it. Something! I'm not ready for what's being thrown at me here. Maybe I could activate the beams? Or something else? Continue. Allow me, Doctor. Fascinating. With this exposed, I can manually activate the defenses in the next room. However, there is another possibility. What is it? Instead of activating the defenses to assist you, I can reroute the power to attempt to send a message to our stranded ship. It may not help, but we have been out of contact for hours. Your options are activating the defense beams, activating swarmers, or using none of them. Tell me more about the beams. I can activate beams of energy that will shoot down in set periods of time. I do not have any further control than that. But you could lure some of the Voth into the beams. The beams are quite deadly, so I would advise keeping your distance. This would be our easiest option against the Voth. But if we are not careful, we could be caught in the beams. Would you prefer I activate the beams? Tell me about the uh, swarmers. I can alter the programming of the security swarmers that normally patrol this area. They will attack the Voth, but they also will attack us if there are no other targets. The swarmers will provide a distraction for us, but they could also be a liability. Do you want me to activate the swarmers? What's our odds if we have no defenses to support us? Slim enough that I cannot recommend it. However, if you choose to do so, I will support you. Right, tell me about beam defenses. I can activate beams Which seems of energy to be... that will shoot down in set periods of time. I do not have any further control than that. Right. But you could lure some of the Voth into the beams. The beams are quite deadly, so I would advise keeping your distance. This would be our easiest option against the Voth. But if we are not careful, we could be caught in the beams. Would you prefer I activate the beams? Out of the choices, that's the one you seem to be recommending. So, yes, activate the beams. I'll wait here. You go on ahead. I walk in front of a bee. Damage trouble. The boss commanders are approaching. Oh, come on.
Starfleet personnel votes. Wow. Most of the other bodies are Klingons or Vor. A Voth soldier is activating the battle suit. did you do? You uh, may want to put a shield up around the next door before you open it. It would appear all that is between us and our goal is the vacuum of space. Indeed. My modification successfully locked the bot out of this area. However, there was an armed Voth battle suit in the corridor. The station's automated swarmers attacked, and this is the result. Try contact the Tyson again, they can transport us across. No response. According to my readings, there is no method of direct access. Unless your ship is within range, we are stranded. Oh, my crew will be with the fleet. Should we wait for Cooper? Yeah. I'm here! I'm here! Wait! Doctor, we require a way to access the other areas of the station. Your thoughts? Uh, I have an idea, but you may not like it. Those EV suits over there, they have maneuvering jets that we could use on the outside of the station. I've looked them over, and they should be able to withstand the heat of the sun. Should? Well, nothing will withstand that much heat and radiation for long. The suits appear to be designed for use in the shadow of the station. But, technically, they can keep us safe. For a little while. They will have to suffice. We have no other logical option. Alright. Now, the sort of suit you get depends on which of the options you choose earlier. Me? Of course not! It's far too risky for me to go out there! We will need to convince Cooper to overcome his fear and help us complete our mission. I'm gonna bully him again. Do you really need me out there? Internal comms are still active. I could just tell you what you have to do. I really can't stand any more stress. I have no idea why Admiral Tuvok chose me for this project. I'm not trained for field work. If I get home alive, I'm writing a letter to the Federation Science Council. I'll file a formal complaint! Is there any another reason why you won't go? Are you sabotaging us? Sabotage you? What do you mean? It's true the suits will work. Why would I lie to you? You could be a spy in disguise. Why would you think that? Fine. I'll show you I'm telling the truth. I'll put on a suit and go with you. Very well. Right. So I'm swapping my Klingon suit for the Solani Marksman suit at the moment because it's better at the resisting. And I'm going to swap into the. There we are. I'm now dressed in the suit. And we go out.
amazing how we get the solar radiation as soon as we go through. I can do this. I can do this. Calm yourself, Doctor. Conserve your oxygen. Stranger, this is a There straight. is a large piece of debris blocking the station's entrance. There is a large amount of debris blocking the entrance. It will be impossible for us to move it without assistance. I can scan the area for anything that may be of use. Good idea. There are two objects of interest. The first is the remains of a Voth battlesuit. There is a mortar payload within it that we can place onto the debris. The second is the remains of a swarmer, specifically a miniaturized communications device. We could use it to detonate the mortar remotely. You get the uh, communicator, I'll get the payload. Uh, it's out there. Trying to stay in the shadow. I'm not sure how successful I'm being in that. Got the charges at least. Charge. I suggest flying a safe distance before activating the charges. Too right. No. Nope. and get in. Alright, in we go. These suits are fried. I doubt they'll be much use anymore. Okay. Oh, Something has closed the doors. Most unsettling. I think the station's defenses are activating! Defenses activate. 
this is the door that's open. very much for the raid. Wow. How was your stream? I know I popped in for a short bit, but how was your stream? Yeah, indeed. Very, po very powerful laser pointers. Not the sort that you want to be pointing at uh, helicopters. Oh, a Ferengi shooting enemies. There was a lot of that I saw, yeah. Which was your best TFO? Oh, it's great fun. Yeah, absolutely. I'm reactivate the shields and we can complete our mission. This is uh, Delta Recruit that started at the last. No, it's not a Klingon Recruit. It started at the last the Klingon. Honor of deactivating uh, the station is yours. Uh, recruitment center station. Let's try that again. Recruitment uh, drive. Where are we? Over there. That's where we're going. It's center point. Center point is a lovely TFO. Uh, absolutely. And uh, we're following him through, and as you can see, we are currently uh, in the Solani Sphere, trying to deactivate the uh, control station before the Voth jump it to Voth space. And before the major uh, uh, reveals of the storyline. There we go. The deactivation program is moving nicely. Doctor. I'm detecting something curious. Energy levels in the gateway in front of us are rising at an exponential rate. It appears to be activating. What? L let me check. Oh, this is not good. The gateway is designed to be an escape hatch in the event this station goes offline. We cannot deactivate the jump protocols without activating the gateway as well. Is there any way to override the protocols? None that I can see. If we want to stop the jump, we have to activate that gate. It seems we have little choice. Your thoughts? 
it's uh, every which way but loose. As Tuvok said, we have no choice. If we want to stop this sphere from moving, we need to activate the gateway. Our time here is limited. The Voth will return in force. We have to do this now. There is no other option. Strange how he's now suddenly um, single-minded, where beforehand uh, in this mission he has been stuttering like mad and delaying and hanging back, which was so different from his other uh, appearances in it. Yeah, he looks suspicious now. Major reveal, watch out for the spoilers. Uh, we've got came here to shut it down. We've got to shut it down. Alright, shutting down the station. Which is was what I was tasked to I'm do. So sorry. I wish I could have found a better way. I failed you both. Do not dwell on this. If there was another option, we would have found it. One moment. We are being hailed. Tuvok here. Chief Engineer Tarkrum of the Dyson here, Admiral. Acknowledged, Chief. Are all of your systems restored? The opening of the gateway cleared up the ambient distortion disruptions. Do you need transport? Yes. I want to get off this station now. We are ready to depart. Chief, do you have a lot? Whoa, that's not good. Admiral Tuvok, come in. Dyson, three to be locked. We can't get a lock. You need to get out of the hot zone. Right, it should be to our left. Is that the one? Yep, yeah, that's the one. Come on, guys. Keep coming. Come on. Come on, Cooper. As much as I don't like you. We're going to die. We're going to die. I've been bullying him this time. Being a proper Klingon on him. Come on, you two! Come on! Yep, they're right behind me. We have a lock on you, sir. Just give the word. Beam us up. Let's get out of here. So were the uh, giveaways successful in your uh, stream this uh, today? Then did did they get well distributed, or did they did they all go to a fixed uh, person? I'll stick my tongue out at that. Distributed. Oh, good, good. Glad to know the bot's working properly. Oh, there's a Voth Dreadnought going through the gateway. Good to have you on board, sir. I I'm Chief Engineer Tarkarum. The fleet in your ship are still engaged with the Voth, but several Voth ships are making their way towards the gateway. One of their Dreadnoughts has already passed through. As the only available ship, we have orders to stop the other Voth from entering the gateway. Okay, understood. Let's see what the ship can do. set up properly. It's enhanced shield inversion. That's take the shields offline at least.
That's got it. And more coming in. attention there. Thanks all for your aid. Thank you for uh, trusting your community with me. Uh, it's been good. Uh, have a good e afternoon yourself and uh, catch you soon. Right, let's hope I can do better this time. Seems to be easier to handle in tactical mode as opposed to or at least how it's set up. There are no more Voth in the vicinity, but one dreadnought did go through the gateway. If my readings are correct, it is passing into another Dyson sphere. This one deeper in the Delta Quadrant. If the Voth are allowed to enter another sphere, they will try to claim it, as they have fought to claim this one. Enter the gateway. So how many people in chat have uh, done this mission, and how many uh, uh, is this all new to?
Right, put a pole up, so... See if, uh... Navigational readings indicate we are in the Delta Quadrant. However, we are inside a Dyson Sphere, and there are no known structures of this type in this region. I'm detecting the presence of a Starfleet vessel, the USS Gold. That ship disappeared on a survey of the Janolan Dyson Sphere at the precise instant the Iconian Gateway Network was reset to save New Romulus. The Janolan Dyson Sphere? This sphere was discovered by the crew of the USS Janolan in 2294. The USS Enterprise D rescued Montgomery Scott, a survivor of the Janolan 75 years later. However, it now appears that the Janolan Sphere had the same jump capabilities as the Solan the gold inside interesting what's the status of the gold I am detecting disabled systems on the gold but there is no weapons damage also sensors indicate that the Voth dreadnought has its weapons armed but has not fired what do you suggest hail the USS gold find out what they know right we've got to get closer Oh, there's an ad break. I'm sorry about the ad break. Hailing the gold. I don't want any trouble. I'm on a mission of exploration. Let me tell you how we got here, and maybe that will convince you. We were on a routine survey of the Janolan Dyson Sphere when something happened. Systems that have been dormant for centuries activated. The energy readings were off the scale. Then a flash, and... Continue. My nav computer claims we're in the Delta Quadrant. If that's right, this entire Dyson Sphere somehow moved itself more than 50,000 light years from its previous position. Since then, we've been stuck. I would have taken Voyager's path back home if we could get out of the Sphere. The doors were locked tight and the gateway powered down as soon as we arrived. The Sphere did move, uh, but we can help you return home. Oh, I'll stick around for a moment right, until the advert the ad break finishes. And I apologise for the ads. Uh, I hadn't seen that they were starting. I would have paused it if I could. Right, okay, so we've got inside the Janolan Dyson Sphere at the other end of the gateway and we've just hailed the USS Gold and they've told us that they were surveying it before the, uh, the Dyson Sphere jumped from the Beta Quadrant into the Delta Quadrant more than 50,000 light years and they've been stuck. Now we're just helping them back, get back. The sphere did move. Another Ooh. Dyson sphere? It's taken us 40 years to study this one, and we're not even close to understanding it. And if that ship was Voth, it would explain why they ignored our hails. They came in with their weapons armed and then simply stopped. Didn't see us as a threat. Right, the bit that skipped there. Glad to have help. Supplies are running low. Uh, but what was that ship that just passed us? Shares. Uh, Shares some signs of Voth tech, but our data banks didn't have anything like that. That's what we skipped by. Okay. The ship set course for the sealed door and is just sitting there. They're ignoring us. I promised my crew we'd get home. If you could send over a team with some spare components, I can get this ship ready to travel. We'll transport over a few of our engineers to help. Transporting engineering team. Now, I have extensive experience with the Voth. While they are arrogant, it is not like them to completely ignore a potential threat. It may be that they sense a greater danger. I suggest we approach and attempt to hail them. Voyager found that some Voth were open to negotiation. We should make every attempt to find a peaceful solution. You Starfleet in your peaceful solutions. Plot a course for the Voth ship. Okay. 
so it looks like it's a 50 50 at the moment is anybody uh, has anybody done the mission previously uh, if so vote uh, who, and if you haven't done this mission previously again vote for that um, be interesting to know what whether you are story people doing Star Trek or perhaps I should have actually said don't play Star Trek online as at all perhaps I should have put that one in let's hail the Voth ship, Warning. ship is oh they have put us, us, uh, a tractor beam on us. That's not very kind of them. The Voth are moving towards the door. Tuvok? Your query will have to wait, Doctor. Shields are down and we... <sighs> You're not... <laughs> Cooper. That's not good. The weak shall perish. And that was the big s reveal. Captain, the Undine outside of the sphere are powering weapons. The mammalian ship is still disabled. Arm all weapons. We will destroy the creatures and then return for the mammals. Well, they've just been one-shotted, as has the door. I... I am unharmed, but we are in danger. We are deep within the Delta Quadrant, right where Cooper wanted us. We do not know how long this infiltrator has impersonated Cooper, or the extent of what he has done. However, I am quite familiar with the tactics of Species 8472. We will repel the Undine, and survive to warn the Alpha Quadrant of the renewed threat. Okay. Finally, a worthy adversary for my new ship. Let's hope I can do better this time. Let's put it into tactical mode. Extremely dangerous. All right, there they come. The Lasset is here to provide any assistance you require.
not sure what still not sure what I think to this thing on science destroy it. Three undeemed battleships inbound. Three battleships? <sighs> that may be a problem. We hold here. None of the undeemed get through. I agree, Commander. There we go. Enterprise is coming as well. Whoa! Too late. Too late. Dreadnoughts now, eh? Okay. There again. I didn't have it in tactical mode. Okay, put some distance in turn. This is a science ship, but it doesn't seem to be set up as a science ship.
Right, last one down. that one. That's built to last. It's that one. That'll do. That's you it. You only delay the inevitable. <sighs> no, I, I... Good to see you. We would have arrived sooner, but there was a vault fleet in the way. Continue. Congratulations on a successful mission. Now the Romulan Republic will take over. We'll set up a command center for further operations. I'm sure command will contact you when your presence is needed. Aren't we supposed to be allies? What gives you the authority to take control? Neither the Republic nor the Klingon Empire has any authority in this sphere. This sphere was discovered by the crew of the USS Janolan, a Starfleet vessel. It was mapped by the USS Enterprise-D, a Starfleet vessel. Since then, it has been studied and claimed by the United Federation of Planets. We will be the ones who determine what happens here. No one else. What gives the Federation authority to claim something they didn't create? We've worked with the Alliance in the Solanae Sphere because that was the best option. But this sphere, no matter its location, has been under Federation control for four decades. If you want to study the sphere, we can open negotiations. But the current state of war makes that a less than optimal option. Until then, I will defend the Federation's claim if I must. We must work together to fight the Undine. Fighting over this sphere is not an option. It would divide our strength. Precisely what would benefit the Undine. The Voth chose to fight instead of cooperate. They were destroyed. We can choose not to be enemies. It is time we did so. Well, Sean? This matter is far from settled. We cannot simply put aside territorial claims because someone else wants what we have. However, I will consult with Sub-Commander Cole and Starfleet Command and discuss the situation. Very well, and you, Captain Jarak? The Romulan Republic will continue to take responsibility for areas within our jurisdiction, but I do not wish to cause a rift in what has been a successful joint action. Well, that's exactly what you did by claiming it uh, the Romulan Republic. However, I will not be put in a position where I must choose between the Federation and the Klingon Empire. We have agreements on both sides that must be honored. Sub-Commander Cole can handle the details. I am a ship captain. Not an administrator. Very well. Cooper's departure has lifted the miasma in my mind. Right, let's see the results. The affliction that I did not even realize was there. He was influencing me. He used the psychic abilities of the Undine to influence my thoughts. And the results are an effect of my failure. I should have been able to detect his influence. We must look forward. What now? We have fulfilled our mission to neutralize the jump capabilities of the Solanay Sphere, only to open up a gateway that the Undine can now use to reach our space. They will no longer have to create rifts from fluidic space. Was this Cooper's plan all along? I suggest we return to Sub-Commander Cole. We must attempt to save the fragile peace of the Alliance. Okay, we'll report to Sub-Commander Cole. The sphere is under Federation control. This sphere is only accessible through an Alliance-controlled gateway. Then perhaps it is time to end this Alliance. This is neither the time nor the place for this. Commander Jarak is correct. The Undine are a threat to us all. Now they have direct access to our space. I propose a summit. 
We must decide together what we must do to protect the Alpha Quadrant. Our disputes may need to be put aside in the face of a greater enemy. I volunteer to mediate these talks. Dr. Cooper manipulated me to achieve his goals. It is only logical that I take responsibility for what has happened here. Very well, Vulcan. We will finish this later. To be continued. So, let's see what the outcome of that poll was. Oh, one vote each way. Well, that's interesting. I don't think I need to um, uh, put a one vote each way uh, up on the screen for uh, for that one. It would have been more responses would have been a bit more interesting perhaps but thank you very much those of you who took part and uh yeah right so step between stars i could not have anticipated all of this baylor master commander i feel for captain uh, for admiral tuvok uh, I was fooled by Cooper's disguise as well. Tuvok and I will begin working on the next steps. We need to get everyone to sit down together and discuss what we should do before we, uh, we start shooting at one another. I will contact you for your aid once uh, concrete. we have concrete plans. You can rest assured we will need your help on the, in this. And... This is where, if Alt was around, I'd be asking him which he recommends out of these three. I'm probably going to go with the uh, uh, the impulse. It's a repeatable mission, so it is, should be possible to pick up the other two anyway. But I don't think I've ever used any of these on any ship. But yeah, collect reward. Congratulations, General. 